Now separating soluble solids from liquid. Number one is evaporation. Now what is evaporation? See, the heating of water and completely absorbing evaporation of water water to obtain common salt we use the method of evaporation now in this what we do Let's take uh, do an experiment. Start doing ex, uh, do this experiment, but under the guidance of your parents. Dissolve one tablespoon of salt in fifty ml of water. One tablespoon of salt in fifty ml of water. Take a china dish. Heat the water in the china dish. Let the water evaporate completely. You will see that there is a white residue left behind in the dish. Scrap it out and taste it. You will taste uh, it. Will taste as salt. So it is a salty substance. So evaporation is the technique in which you can, uh, you know, find out separate the solid, uh, soluble solids from liquid. As you will heat the water, it gets evaporated. It gets the it uh, forms the vapors and becomes less less and less so uh, the evaporation when the water completely gets evaporated you will find some substance left behind so that is a common salt so this is the technique of evaporation now we can also say about the technique condensation is the opposite technique of it the process of conversion of water vapor into liquid form is called condensation right now what you are doing, you converting the process of, uh, you know, you when there is a very hot, you know, anything, uh, let's say bowel, what you do, you cover it with the plate. Now after some time, when the mixture cools down, you take out the plate and you say the water droplets on the plate. That process is known as the condensation. Distillation. Now it is a method. of obtaining pure liquid from a solution right the solution is heated so that the liquid evaporates the vapors are then cooled they condense to give the pure liquid so if we say distilled water used in the laboratories is used in this way a special apparatus is used to get distilled water so distillation is a method of obtaining pure liquid from a solution the solution is heated so that the liquid evaporates the vapors are then cooled they condense to give the pure liquid I hope you have understood this. Do download our scholars learning app and enjoy the learning experience with us.